right, we got some Popeyes here. We got the new blackened chicken bacon and cheese sandwich. They have like a regular one. And then I went ahead and got the blackened chicken because I haven't had that from Popeyes yet. But I got their mango lemonade. It's supposed to be frozen. They had like a regular premium mango lemonade and a, a frozen option. I ordered the frozen one, but it doesn't. It was either frozen and melted or they just gave me the other one. Let's let's see. Let's see. It kind of looks like it's frozen and melted. Oh, that's 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 a 100% melted icy. It's 100% melt. You can see that there's a little bit of ice lingering in there. It, I was I was tracking the delivery. It didn't take that long. 100% melted frozen lemonade that's not frozen anymore. Amazing, bro. I love getting delivery. You almost get what you order. You all you, you almost do. Most of the time, you almost get it. <laughs> all right, let's see what the food's like. It was really about the food, right? But they were like, "Yo, do a combo. You get the you get the good stuff, eh?" Let's see. Where my fries at, dog? Okay. We got some of their Cajun fries. Popeyes has some good fries. Well, well, like not today, but Popeyes has some good fries. These are just like limp. They're all cold. There's no warmth in the packaging at all. You like? I don't. Like, how come when you order DoorDash, they're like? All right, it'll be like 28 to 35 minutes for your food or you can pay an extra five dollars and we'll bring it directly to you like isn't that what i'm doing am i not paying you to bring it to me like bad fries are still good they're just kind of like room temperature maybe like maybe maybe like 85 degrees maybe a little above room temp um oh god this is terrible already jesus hmm this was so cheap, I ordered it on DoorDash, but like my last several orders, they just forget a bunch of stuff or they don't bring it or they bring the wrong thing. Or they bring me melted lemonade and cold fries. Or, I don't know. I had a bunch of credit. I was like, oh, this is going to be so cheap. Yeah, it's it's disappointing no matter what you do. No matter what you do. All right, let's see what we got in here. Let's see. This is what the video is all about. The black and the chicken. How does it look weird? I think that's Swiss cheese, right? This is Swiss. It's supposed to be 1,220 calories. Let me see if I can read more here. The Popeye's chicken sandwich you love, but make it black and marinated in Popeye's black and seasoning. That is. That, it, it, there's a period there. It, it ends on that word. Marinated in Popeye's black and seasoning. That is. Our juicy new filet is fried to perfection without the breading. Served on a toasted brioche bun with crispy pickles. Classic mayo, Havarti cheese and bacon. Havarti, okay. My bad. My bad, Havarti. I didn't I didn't know. I, I didn't recognize you. Let's see if I can uh, maybe get this open here and then show you the, the inside. See if it's just swimming in mayonnaise or something. Okay, it's like... 100% sat on, right? 100%. Okay, it's not swimming. I see three pieces of bacon on there. Okay. Or the the pickles are probably on the bottom. Okay, I see the I see the pickles sneaking out the bottom. Well, dang, dang old dang. Let's uh, eat a couple more cold fries. It's like the the seasoning on it's there. Why are cold fries still good? Um, all right. They're not cold. They're slightly above room temperature. Well, let's let's do the thing. Oh gosh. We're going right in right in where the, the bacon's visible. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. 
Pretty good. It's like missing that freshness. The delivery wasn't too far away, but stuff happens sometimes. Hmm. It's a, uh, it's a nice, nice little kick to it. Lots of, lots of uh, flavor from the black and seasoning. Hmm. Like I'm getting a lot of flavor, not too much. It's not going crazy. Like maybe it could go a little bit harder. There's no spice to it. There's just like. The blackened seasoning, you know what I mean? It's kind of like this really peppery, like nondescript, not too crazy of a flavor. Like it's decent, but it's not great. I think they do a crispy version of this. You can get like the regular uh, crispy chicken sandwich with the, with the bacon and with the cheese, which is strange because the whole deal is about it having bacon and cheese. Do they not normally do that? Mm. Like, I don't really eat at Popeye's a bunch, but. Mm. Who knows? Like, I, I, the fries even look different than I thought. I thought they were like skinnier, like shoelace shoestring fries or whatever. But those are kind of thick. Hmm. It's not going crazy, right? Honestly, as much as I like bacon and cheese, I feel like they kind of take away from a chicken sandwich. Hmm. Like, right? They're good, right? Good on a burger. Good here and there. But I feel like if I want to have a a good chicken sandwich, it's just gonna have the chicken on it and either like a good tomato slice or pickles on it and like nothing else. Maybe some sauce or whatever. But I don't need bacon and cheese. I don't need anything else, right? That's just, that's just adding to it and taking away from the chicken. Hmm. But this is still pretty good. It's not great. I am bummed about the, the melted frozen lemonade. It, it just, it looks weird. It's like frothy, foamy at the top, like ice, melted ice in the middle, and then just like all the flavor drip down to the bottom. Like, it, I, it wasn't even, <laughs> it wasn't even. Here's the thing. I live in Florida, right? A lot of people are driving around without air conditioning and delivering food. I've literally done it myself before. So if somebody put this in their car, it's like 87 degrees outside right now. Somebody puts this in their car that's just been baking in this. And there's no chance. If it was a 10 minute drive, there was no chance that the the frozen. They, they're not putting that in a bag. I don't know. Either way, I think I give this like a six and a half out of 10. Like it's pretty good, but I feel like I would like it more without the bacon and cheese. Maybe a little bit more spice to it. So I don't know. Uh, it does make me want to try to order something from Popeye's again, because when I was looking at the menu, they had a lot of stuff, so we'll see. Mm. But I appreciate you watching this and hanging out with me. And um, if you want to see something I really liked, it was actually from Arby's. Check out me eating the dang old Arby's Wagyu burger. It's actually pretty good.